Years ago, I was sitting in Financial Peace University classes, and people said, what do I do first? And what do I do after that? And what do I do after that? Where do I start? In my situation, what do I do? And out of those conversations, we started realizing we all need a good financial planning, clear path. A clear path to go from wherever I am to wealthy. That's financial planning. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's okay. You probably shouldn't listen to this show. It's what we're doing all the time here. We're trying to take you from wherever you are to wealthy. Wealthy and stable, for that matter. Not only getting out of debt, but there's a reason to get out of debt. You get out of debt so that you can retire with dignity. You get out of debt so that you can change your family tree. You get out of debt so that you can build wealth and be outrageously generous. So the baby steps was developed out of that. I didn't just sit around one day on my couch and go, we need seven baby steps in the financial space, and I think I'll invent them. No, it's actually I had worked with thousands and thousands and thousands of people, and I couldn't answer their question without digging into each and every situation and going, this is what you do, this is what you do, this is what you do. But we know you need to be out of debt and have an emergency fund. That's foundational. Any of us in the financial planning arena know that. It's foundational. And we know you need to be investing to be able to build wealth. That's foundational. And we know your mortgage is big, so paying that off, it's foundational. So just the question was how to put those in an order that was practical and applicable that actually worked. And that's where the baby steps were born. And you know the reason that they've been so successful, why the book, The Total Money Makeover, which is basically the baby steps on steroids, why it's been so successful is because it's a clear path and it's based on basic financial planning logic. And it works. And so even my friends in the financial planning community that don't like me grudgingly admit that the baby steps is freaking genius. And and, because it is, it is not because I'm genius, but because it's a clear path and we all need a clear path to do whatever it is we're going to succeed at. What are the things I need to do to get to winning if I'm not winning? What's the steps? What's the clear path? We all need that. So to get you started on the right foot, we have the baby steps bundle in the store right now which includes the Total Money Makeover. It includes the Retire Inspired audiobook, the Love Your Life, Not Theirs audiobook, the Starter Envelope System, the Every Dollar Guide to Budgeting, and you get a free pass to the Smart Money live stream experience that Chris Hogan and I will be doing in Louisville, Kentucky on April the 25th. You can watch that event live stream as a part of this. This is a limited time offer. You can get all that for $29.99. That is a deal. DaveRamsey.com or call us at 888-22-PEACE, 888-227-3223. But the, the moral of this story is not the bundle. The moral of the story is develop a clear path to something. Find someone that has a clear path to it. You want to lose weight? What's the clear path to losing weight? You want to improve your marriage? What's the clear path to improving your marriage? What do you do? What are the, what, you know, do this and then find a proven process, a proven plan, and then don't try to fix it because if you already had it figured out, you'd already be there. So don't fix somebody else's clear path, somebody else's process that's already working. Don't, I mean, have you ever had anything more aggravating than, you know, you, you, a friend of yours asks you to lunch and says, hey, I'm having trouble with my marriage. What do you think? And then you tell them, and they don't do any of it. And yet you've got a great marriage, and theirs is on the rocks. And you go, dude, you know, the way you talk to her, no wonder. You know? You treat her like dirt, man. I mean, what's your deal? And, and then you don't change. You know, I, I nothing worse than giving somebody advice and they don't change. It doesn't do any good. It's wasting my time. I've had friends and relatives over the years that say, I want your opinion about this. And then they go do none of it. So the next time they want to take up my time for my opinion about something, I'm not as available. 
You know what I'm saying? So when you find something that works, submit yourself to it. Submit yourself to it. I have a friend of mine that is on a weight loss exercise program that is dialed in. And she has lost 65 pounds and is in great shape. But you know what she did? She did not try to fix any of their system. She did not try to modify and do her version of any of their system. She found their system. It absolutely works. And she's doing every iota of it. She completely bought in. Join the cult. Shave your head and drink the Kool-Aid, right? Submit yourself to a winning process. That's what she did with that weight loss, weight loss and exercise system. And it's worked to the point everybody's going, what did you do? I mean, Chick lost 65 pounds. That's noticeable. Hello. Everybody's going, what up? What did you do? And then she tells them, but then they don't go do it. Uh Uh-huh. There you go. See right there. It's exactly what I'm talking about. Les Parrott, Dr. Les Parrott, that is going to be speaking at the SMART conference, has a wonderful system on his website that you can take a marriage analysis called Deep Love, and you can take an analysis, a, a, a survey, and fill it in, and then it will tell you the areas of your marriage that are strongest and the areas of your marriage that you need to work on. And it will give you exact steps to go work on those. Now, Les is one of the best-known voices in all of the marriage space. And as far as putting a survey together and developing a system and, uh, and a thing that spits out suggestions, he wrote a lot of the programming for eHarmony. So shut up. This guy, he's the best in the world at this. So you can take that deep love assessment and then read it all and go yeah well i don't agree with you shut up i don't care what your opinion is you're losing when you're losing at a space don't give us your opinion about the space it makes you look stupid don't do that you're losing if you're losing in a space don't have an opinion it makes you look stupid Don't do that. You do what someone who's not losing says to do. Why is this hard? Because we all have egos. I'm amazed at the number of broke people who have strong opinions about my investing advice. Is that not the dumbest butt thing you've ever heard? You live in your mother's basement and you write a blog about how Dave Ramsey's investment advice is wrong. Get a job, son. Get out of your mother's basement. Nobody cares what your opinion is when you live in your mother's basement about finances. You're a broke loser. Seriously. Think about this. Why do we do this stuff? It'd be like me having an opinion about growing hair on top of my head. That would be dumb. I don't have any hair on top of my head. I'm not good at growing hair there. For me to have an opinion about that would be stupid. It, obviously, whatever I'm doing there is not working. Why would you follow me on that? You shouldn't. Find somebody that's winning at something and submit yourself to a proven process. Whether it's your spiritual walk, your marriage, your finances, your physical condition, your parenting. Find somebody that's winning and submit yourself to their process.